Hello guys, this is LC Media. So all of us know that LUT is a very useful thing in video editing because they add more color to your video and make your videos look more professional. So today I'm gonna show you how to create your own LUT. So basically you have to go to this site and download this LUT generator. So once you've downloaded it, you can see that there's a lot of files and you choose the Mac one, you open up and you can install it after it's been installed you can see there's this option generate the hold and then you open and you will save automatically a png file and you drag it into your lightroom after that you go back to your final cut pro 10 and then export a scene but then if you cannot find you can go to add destination and you can find this save current frame after that you make sure that it's in the TIFF file and you can export the current frame of course you can still just do a screenshot and it's still similar but then I think screenshot is not that good of a result so I've changed the name to cyberpunk and I save it onto my desktop and after that, I drag the saved frame into my Lightroom and go to develop and then you can start editing. So I'm not a very good editor using Lightroom, but this is what I do with my frame. So basically, I drag Q all the way to negative 100 for red and all the way to positive 100 for green and then negative 91 for blue and I change the saturation for red up to about positive 12 and then green i will drag it down about negative 8 yeah and blue i will drag it up again to positive 15 and after that i will be changing the temperature i'll be reducing the temperature to a very greenish temperature about negative 35 34 and then i will increase the exposure to about positive 0 0.9 reduce the contrast about negative 18 and then I'll decrease the highlight to negative 100 and increase the shadow to about positive 18, 19 mm, yeah and then I'll increase the white to about 17 and black to 16 and reduce the clarity to have a very gloomy dreamy kind of look I will make it around negative 59 increase the dehaze to positive 65 66 and then it looks much better actually it looks kind of Japanese very cyberpunk ish film like feature and then I'll go to the RGB channel and create three points after the points have been created I go to the third one and then lower down a bit and increase a little bit and make sure the middle one stays on the middle and the, the first one I will just drag it to the left and now go to the channel blue channel increase the bottom one I will drag it left a bit so to reduce the blue and in, and I'll drag the upper one right yeah it looks a bit greenish now but it's still okay because I want this result actually and after that I will go to split toning increase the hue to about 280 yeah 82 and then increase the saturation to maximum and slowly decrease it to a point where you think it's actually acceptable so I think it is acceptable around 49 and I'll increase the shadows all the way to about 275 and also similarly I'll increase the saturation to maximum and slowly decrease the saturation to a point I think it's not as purple as it is but it's not complete yet because I have to change the balance to about positive 45 yeah that's it I think I'm satisfied with this result and I'll go to the bottom left and I'll choose the copy and I'll press copy all the characteristics and go back to the first one and click paste so you can export it so usually I just export to the desktop 
you go back to the LUT generator, you click convert cube, and then you click on the new neutral JPG or PNG file, whichever it is. And then you can see there's a cube folder created and you can change the name. After you've already changed the name, you can go back to your Final Cut Pro. And for me, I will use adjustment layer. So I'll go to titles and type adjustment layer and drag it onto my timeline and adjust the length of the adjustment layer. After that, I go to the effects column and drag the custom LUT. After that, go to the inspector, find the custom LUT and click on choose custom LUT and find your whatever LUT you created. Like in this case, it's the cyberpunk LUT. And after that, you see it's instantly different. You can see the color is there. And then you can do your fine tuning by changing the color, the saturation, the exposure. And of course, you can still go to the Luma curve and do the necessary adjustments. So usually it's really up to you to do anything you want to your own LUT. And basically it's similar to any of the LUT that is available on the market, but then this one is belong to you. It's your own lap. And that's all for today's video. Hope you guys like it and please subscribe. Bye bye.